It was all in the cookies. Camera rolling, sound speeding. Homemade goodies, episode five, opening scene, take one, marker. Homemade Goodies has its origins in 2020. After my late grandma Betty, who showed me how to make chocolate chip cookies, passed away, I figured that it would be a little bit of a tribute to her if I do something that involves baking and making videos. I decided that it would be a good idea to make a series, and I titled it Homemade Goodies. I filmed the first season at my parents' place in Illinois. In those episodes, you see cookies, cake pops, and chocolate covered fruit. For season two, I decided to do cooked meals like steak, hamburgers, spaghetti, salmon, pork chops, etc. And I filmed that in my parents' place in Illinois as well. Then, in 2021, I moved to Rochester, Minnesota. And after being there for a while, I decided to make a third season. So I filmed in my apartment kitchen, and I decided to make a mix of both savory and sweet. So you get episodes like cinnamon rolls, peppercorn steak, waffles, and others. To make an actual episode of Homemade Goodies, a lot goes into it, like pre-production, production, and post-production. In pre-production, I first go on to my computer and type up the script. In the script, I basically write out what I'm going to do, what I'm going to say, and also write out the recipe and go shot by shot almost on how I want to make it. Then when the script is done, I go on to production. In production, I set up the cameras, the audio gear, etc and then I just film away, which takes quite a few hours, but it's all fun and good though. After principal photography, then I go into post-production. In post-production, I record my narration bits, and then I also add those and the video clips into my editing software and put the episode together. And that, of course, too, can take some time. Then, after I put the episode together, I put it up on the internet for everybody to watch. As with any film or video project, there are challenges I face when making homemade goodies. One of those challenges is not having as much time as I'd like to make them. It takes time to write the episode, film the episode, and edit the episode. And when you have two jobs, it doesn't give you a lot of time. Another challenge I have of homemade goodies is that the only thing I really do multiple takes on are the intro and the outro, but the actual cooking or baking or making of the product, that's pretty much all done in the first take, mostly because I just don't have enough time to like go back and redo things. I mean, sometimes my eggs will crack wrong or I may put too much of one ingredient in something. And sometimes that means products don't turn out the way they should. For example, in the pork chop episode, you see that they look a little bit crispy and brown and kind of tough. In reality, that's not how they're supposed to look. All in all, Homemade Goodies has been a really fun series to make. It's fun to actually prep the food and also show the process of making it. And it's also fun to both consume what you make and also share with your family and friends. And it's also just really fun to blend filmmaking and food prep, which are both a lot of fun. And there will be more episodes on the way. And just remember, keep on baking, keep on cooking, keep on making. It was all in the cookies.